Hi and welcome back to the House of Langford channel. Today I'm going to show you exactly what I made over January. What have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six makes over January, but I did also start some class makes. So the first thing that I did was a storage pod. And I have actually tweaked the pattern since making this one as well. It's rather small, so I've made it a teeny bit larger and I have changed where I leave a hole basically so I can turn it through. So it's called a little storage pod and I'll put a link in the bottom um, where I found the pattern for it. It uses just two fat quarters so I've got this really nice blue flower print on the back and then on the inside I've just got a plain blue. I've used the ribbon that also ties the fat quarter packs together as well so I'm utilising everything I've got. It has one layer of wadding inside to make it nice and soft and it stands up on its own with a nice opening so you can just pop stuff in there. So it could be used as a yarn bowl if you just hang it on the side. It could be used to store other things as well. But it's really cute. It teaches you how to stitch in straight lines, how to box the bottom and you get a curved edge as well. And then it also shows you how to bag it out and line something. So it's a lot of techniques and skills all in one project. So I'm really pleased with that one. And I'm going to be making lots and lots more. The next thing I did was another class piece. This time it is a cross stitch piece. Now I haven't done cross stitch for a long time. It is my, it was what my entry was into the craft world. So thank you to my grandmother for that. And I made this teeny tiny little heart. Now it's going to be an intro to cross stitch clip class. So they're just going to make one little piece and then we're going to frame it. Um, but then if they've got a kit that they want to work on as well, then they're welcome to bring that along and I'll show them how to get it gridded up and get started as well. So they're learning that too, not just to make one tiny little piece. Um, but it's really cute. So I'm going to pop a picture up of what it looks like framed. The next thing I did was paint a vase at the craft shed in Basildon. And I decided that because there were eight sections, I was going to use eight colours. So I did a rainbow and it goes all the way around. So I'm just going to pop up a little video that I did um, of it painted before it got sent off to be glazed. And then there is also a video of it finally glazed and I cannot wait to go pick it up the next time I am there. Um, and that's going to sit probably behind me actually along with the skull in the corner. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm quite into my painting at the moment. It's nice and calming and it gives me somewhere else to go rather than sit indoors for a weekend. So. The next thing I did was design a t-shirt. Now I designed a print and because we went to the Waltham Abbey wool show, I thought it'd be really nice if my friend and I wore matching t-shirts. So I designed this ball of yarn with a crochet hook, but it's in the shape of a heart. So I designed the print and then my husband screen prints so I got him to print them for us. We did the sage green as well as a grey and we decided to wear these ones on the day. Um, and I've got six more t-shirts that he needs to print for me in random different colours. So that's going to be really cool to be able to wear those all the time as well. Um, and it's something else that I've made myself and designed as well which is nice. I made a granny square cardigan for the Wolfram Abbey wall show and I was finishing it the night before. When I say that I was literally weaving in all of my ends because I had so many ends to weave in. It was made using some rainbow rainbow yarn like this one um, from Lolly's Little Wall Shack and I went through two full balls and then was working from two of two other balls to um, lengthen it and add extra rows because the colours all linked up with those it would otherwise it would have been odd that's the right way that's the right way so this is my granny shawl card my granny square card again I've lengthened it I just need to lengthen the arms, I think. They are a little bit short, so I'm going to get up and give you a little twirl. Okay, so that is my cardigan, and 
this was me wearing it at the Wolfram Abbey War Show and I'll put some more pictures up in a new video of what I got from the show because it was amazing we spent all day there we actually stayed over the night before as well um so it was super exciting it took so long I started it just before Christmas um wasn't really sure where it was going I just knew I wanted to make a cardigan it wasn't until Wolf and Ruby Wall showed, showed that their competition this year was a cardigan or jumper um I thought I have to get it finished even though for me it probably needs a little bit more in terms of length on the sleeves and maybe a collar as well um because it kind of stops at the neck and then it will be absolutely finished then and I'll be wearing it all the time especially when summer comes up because it's nice and warm well it's not really good in the summer but when I'm at work it will be great <laughs> the last thing was one more thing I made a granny a granny shawl using my advent calendar from 2019 um, the wool was all hand dyed by all wool that ends wool um, you've probably heard me talk about them before because I use the yarn a lot and I had 16 stitches left and ran out of yarn so I had to add on some of the spellbound that I had left over from my cuddle bum shawl and my um, front shawl as well it's the same colour so it's spellbound um, and here it is have I got it the right way around? yes it's actually it does look rather big you can see the different colourway at the bottom it doesn't quite match but it's it's a nice tone on the bottom um, and I'm really pleased with it actually it didn't take as long as I thought it would and I started this on boxing day and again I just wove all the ends in um, at the end of January on the 31st of January I was sitting there weaving the ends in on the last the last row and a little bit at the beginning but it sits nice sits on really nicely um it is it's just a little bit short i mean the end stop here so i'd like it to be a little bit longer i think um i have been to the studio today and met charlotte uh newland from the great british Sobe. and she's teaching a class at the studio today and we had a good tug of it and she has advised me to block it um so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure it's nice and big by the end of blocking it because there's a lot of stretch in it. So I should be able to make it nice and big to wear about. Um, there's a lot of things coming up in February. Um, we have half term in the middle, so I plan to make quite a lot. I'm also teaching a lot over half term, so it may be just um, class samples, but it's something different and yeah it'll be a nice nice little half term for me of working and making so two things that i enjoy doing <laughs> um yeah not much else to show you this month so i'm gonna end that now and i'll see you again shortly for my wolfram abbey wall show haul bye